This is Twit. It's almost soup yet, according to this note. Windows Gross. 10 fall create <laughs> yeah, soupy. A fall a fall brew a of fall some sort. Brew of a stew of Windows treats. Yum. Um, <laughs> what when, have they wrought? Where, whoops, wait a minute. I pushed the wrong button and it says something weird. Here we go. What um, What are we... Uh, well, there was a new Fast Ring preview on Friday, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And then there was a bug bash. I, By the way, I really enjoyed last week when we had... Uh, yeah. Donna yeah. Sarkar. Donna, yep. Donna Sarkar. That's, um, that's and not that other guy. The other guy didn't show up, nameless. but Donna was there, and uh, <laughs> she was she has lots of really interesting things to say. So she apparently pushed yeah. the button two days later and put out the fast ring yeah. sixteen two forty one, mm -hmm. and then you think there'll be another one this week? There might be Friday. They're hinting. Hmm. Yeah. Not today or tomorrow, though, is what they no. were saying. So that but that's your but I feel like we're we're, we're like in the home stretch yeah. right now, right? Like there's probably no more major features coming. I I don't know if I could say it's feature complete at this point, but maybe. Yeah, you never know. You never okay. know. Yeah, I I would like for them to surprise us on this one because frankly, mm -hmm. well, this is for later. But there are things yeah. that they talked about that are not coming. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But we knew some. Of, we've known a lot of those for a while. I think they they telegraphed a lot of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not not too much of a surprise. Well, no. Um, what exactly is the? What are we looking for that'll be very exciting? <laughs> We're you mean like, that for isn't those of us, the... <laughs> Well, for those of us who aren't on an insider's ring, who just yeah. live yeah. life oh, normally, so actually, not in a fast bring lane like you. Yeah. Let me bring up this document because I actually started. I had written an article about what was not going to be in the fall creators update. And then I thought to myself, well, you know, I should present the flip side, you know, what yeah. is coming right. And do kind of a rundown of the, of the features. And I got to say, this surprised me a little bit. Um, this is a really long list. Mm -hmm. So I decided to break it out into individual articles. So I published one, I think yesterday about an individual feature, but if it, I'll just run through this real quick. Yeah. Um, one OneDrive uh, files on demand, the new version of placeholders, probably the biggest new feature. Um, the not the My People interface, where you can access your my people. favorite people, you know, from the from the taskbar. My people free. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, the first implementation of the Fluent Design System with some acrylic material, um, <laughs> reveal highlights and translucencies and things like that across various UIs and uh, applications. Well, when you put it like um, that. Lots of high DPI improvements. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Improved share experience, um, many uh, updates to notifications in Action Center, many updates to Microsoft Edge. But that's you know been very typical, um, but a lot of it around the reading mode, the reading stuff, um, books, PDFs, and web pages. Also full screen mode, the ability to pin um, websites to the taskbar like you could do in IE. Uh, lots of Cortana improvements, um, pin and password recovery from the lock screen. Lots of task manager improvements. They added the GPU tracker, remember? Um, they also made the uh, performance, I think it's the performance tab. Uh, you can get kind of a more granular look at the various tasks. So you can break down like edge um, processes uh, in a more fine grained way. Um, <clears throat> delivery optimization, remember, was kind of put in in the previous update, but now will be used, right? Meaning that you will actually get updates from other computers other computers on the internet and from the web, and you can uh, control how that works. And let's see, uh, the Win the console stuff where a bash on Windows is being upgraded so that you can get different distributions through the store. Lots of Skype improvements, lots of Hyper-V improvements, virtual machine gallery, VM share, and revert VM like the auto um, checkpoint feature, which I can't believe wasn't in there 10 years ago. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> storage sense updates, settings updates, Windows update improvements, lots, lots of stuff. Busy, forgetting busy, the yeah. biggest thing. Oh, emojis. <laughs> what? No. No. <laughs> but that no, is big. No, all the, 
there's tons of security stuff in this for enterprise users. Oh, you gotta like, you gotta drag it down like that, really? <laughs> come on, man! Like, <laughs> no, that's big. This, come on. Okay, emojis versus <laughs> Windows Defender Application Guard, which is the thing that isolates potential malware and blows it up in a container. Come on! I I, I saw that and I kind of glazed a little bit. Oh man, really? Well, its okay, code so name was Barcelona. Hey, where are you going in two weeks? Yeah, there you go. She has you there, Paul. Come on. But emojis. (laughs) Emojis. Adding back into the operating system, the enhanced mitigation experience toolkit stuff. Mm, Also in the fall creators update. (laughs) Um, So, okay, in my defense, I'm not 100% sure if all of those features are available to individuals or if they require an enterprise SKU and that kind of thing. So that that might that might, might be why I left them out. Yeah, but still, I mean, if you're looking, if you're a business customer and you're looking yeah. at fall creators update, like, I don't think you're going to care about the emojis as much as you might care about these things. Just a guess. It's, it's, it's close.